The father of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Abdullah, the son of Abdul Muttalib bin Hashim and Fatima bin Amr. He was considered the smartest of the ten sons of Abdul Muttalib, and he was considered the most chaste and thus the most loved not by just his father but even by his brothers and common folks of Quraysh. The one very important incident in his life was that he was chosen to be sacrificed by his father to their demigoddess Hubal. <laughs> Abdul Muttalib in his early ages made a vow that if he has ten sons to support him in his life, he would sacrifice one of them. When all of his ten sons reached maturity, one day Abdul Muttalib disclosed his vow which he kept a secret from everyone so far. All his sons accepted silently and all of the sons names were written on a divination arrow and they were put under the guardianship of the goddess Hubal and then one arrow was chosen randomly and the arrows showed the name of the most beloved son of Abdul Muttalib who was Abdullah the father of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Abdullah surrendered without arguing and he was ready to be sacrificed and thus he was brought near the Kaaba with a razor in Abdul Muttalib's hands then his uncles from Banu Makhzum and his brothers Abu Talib the brother of Abdullah Abu Talib advised Abdul Muttalib that they should go to a woman diviner an oracle who was said to have a jinn with her and the oracle advised them that the divination arrows should be drawn again but this time there should be 10 camels on one side and Abdullah on the other side and if the divination arrow shows the name of Abdullah again then there has to be another 10 camels on one side and Abdullah on the other side and this process is going to be carried on until and unless the divination arrow shows the name of the camels thus this process was practiced and the arrows kept showing the name of Abdullah the first 10 times it was drawn and the 11th time the arrow showed the name of the camels so finally a hundred camels a hundred camels were sacrificed to save the life of Abdullah based on this incident Prophet Muhammad said Anabnu Zabihain, I am the son of the two sacrificed one Yani Ismaila wa Abahu Abdullah means Ismail والسلام, and his father Abdullah Abdul Muttalib chose Amina bint Wahab bin Abd Manaf as the wife of Abdullah and they got married in Mecca and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the womb of Amina with a blessed child who was Prophet Muhammad and while she was pregnant according to one narration Abdullah was sent to Yasrib by his father to buy dates and he died in his way back and in another narration Abdullah went to Syria for a trade and he died while returning near Yasrib he was only 25 years old when he passed away and it was two months before the birth of Muhammad Rasulullah that Allah decreed him to be an orphan he left very little wealth for his family according to Sahih Muslim it was only five camels some goat and a female slave named Barakah Umm Ayman anha, who was later to become not just a Sahabiyah but the first person to touch Rasulullah with her hands as well as a foster mother to him.